Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of GTA Online. Well, in this case, GTA 5, did you know? And today, did you know about the forgotten programmable AR that Rockstar intended to bring to the game? Well, if not, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. It's super interesting because there's a lot in the game that works considering this is cut content and it's never been added to the game. Now, we don't know why Rockstar were going to add this to the game. We don't know in what story mission you would have used this in. And in terms of GTA Online, we don't know how balanced this thing would have been. But the few things we do know, it actually has a couple of HUD icon and render pictures left in the game files. And we can take a look at these. Now, these are going to be in pretty bad resolution because they're actually really, really small in the game files. But... This is the first one. You can see this is, I guess, the render file of what it would look like here. It's a little bit cleaner of a picture, but again, you can see what it looks like. And then this would be the icon that would be in your weapon wheel. And we can actually see what it would look like in the weapon wheel. We can see here 11 out of 14, and it is considered an assault rifle. So it's not actually in the same slot as the RPG and other explosives. It's actually considered an assault rifle, which I guess makes sense considering... Its name is Programmable Assault Rifle, even though it does shoot explosive bullets. But some other details regarding this programmable AR. According to the game files, there are two attachments for it. It has an extended clip, and we can see that at the top. You can see it says Clip 2, Expenditure Tunable. And then the bottom part talks about a programmable targeting system. So I would imagine that this thing just shoots normally but you can get a, a targeting system as an add-on. The most interesting part regarding this is actually the scope. The scope is really cool looking. I'll just play a GIF of it over and over again. You can see it's got a really unique and cool animation to it. And it's unlike any other scope in the game. If you actually get to spawn this in single player, it gives you some text at the top left of the screen to tell you how to use it says press and hold right to aim the programmable AR, then press left to set the range. Once the range has been set, press the fire button again to fire. So that actually sounds really cool, and I kind of wish we would get this in GTA Online. I don't think it would be too overpowered, considering everything else we have in the game. It would be a nice way to uh, kill people on foot, you know, especially if they are hiding behind a wall, you could set the distance to where the explosion uh, the explosive explodes once it hits that distance and not any further but it is interesting how you can see considering this is cut content they actually have instructions on how to use it if you actually head to the ammunition there are a couple of signs that have the programmable ar on them one has the programmable ar on it with a price of ten thousand dollars next to it and I believe there are various other ones around the shop. As far as damage, according to the explosion data left over, it did 200 damage on a direct hit, so that's like an instant kill. It did 20 edge slash splash damage, so it really didn't do a whole lot if you didn't get a direct hit. The one thing we don't know though, since it was a rifle, we don't know what ammo it used. We don't know if it used assault rifle ammo somehow, or if it used the grenade ammo but that is everything we know about this programmable ar and it's one of the few weapons that is cut that actually has this much left over most of the other cut weapons were just icons left in the game files but this one not only has the icons but it was actually in the ammunition it has the help text and it has a totally unique scope with attachments. Let me know in the comment section, would you be interested in having this in GTA Online at some point? I don't think it would be too overpowered, like I mentioned, with everything else that's in the game. I just think it'd be kind of cool to have, you know, as a way to deal with people on the ground, as a way to deal with maybe people who use the marksman sniper over and over again. But there you guys have it. That is this week's episode of GTA 5. Did you know? Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did not know about this programmable AR. As always, though, subscribe for this series every single Saturday. Please drop the video a like, share it with your friends, let them know about this really cool gun. But as always, I will see you guys in the next one.